All right, guys, so we're going to take a quick look at this Tornick Ravel Type 7B, a.k.a. the Blackjack. Um, yeah, so this was sent in for video review because that's what this channel is and that's what I do. Big thanks to the Wizard for sending this over. Let's cover the dimensions and then we'll cover some of the specs. So the bezel I measure at 42 millimeter, but the case I measure at like 45. It's a little difficult to measure this one and it, it is chunky. It is a larger watch and it does have some heft to it, but it's very Seiko-esque when it wears as like a cushion case on your wrist. So it's very comfortable on wrist. So don't let those sizes scare you off quite yet. So lug to lug is a 49 millimeter. You can see you have drilled lugs. Check out that case profile. You have a nice high mirror polish on the edges and then brushed everywhere else. The thickness is only 13.3 millimeter. I say only because for reference, the old Seiko SKX is 13 and a half millimeter. So this one's going to be nice and spread out with that 45 by 49 and then that only 13.3 thick. The lug width here is 22 millimeter. The bracelet does taper down to 20 and you do have an oversized 7 millimeter screw down crown keeping the 200 meter water resistance on this guy. So I got to share this. Look at the uh, the bezel grip on this thing. It is spectacular and it looks like it'd be a DNA collector being really rough, but it's not. It's actually very comfortable. It's the correct amount of traction. And this has to be up there in the top five best feeling and sounding 120 click bezels that I've handled. It is a joy to uh, spin this bezel. Crown action, awesome as well when you unscrew this guy. Plenty of traction on it. A nice pop to it. And then, of course, you have nice gaskets going on in there. So, quite frankly, it's probably more capable than 200 meter water resist. It is a day date watch, as you can see there. It says Tuesday the 5th. That's not accurate. Or is it? Are you watching this on Tuesday the 5th? If so, then it's accurate. But the movement inside is the Seiko NH36. So... Great choice to keep the cost down and make this thing a very usable watch. Very legible. You have your 12 hour and 24 hour. And then when I did the unboxing, I initially thought, just because of the way they look, right? Or my eyes deceived me. I thought these markers around here, I thought they were tritium tubes. But it clearly is indicated right here that it is not radioactive, meaning it is not tritium. So I did mess up in my unboxing thinking that it was the loom on this is all bgw9 and the loom is conserved to the hands and then all those little tubes they look like tubes they're not tubes they're actually printed on they tried many different dials until they got the configuration that they wanted with yielding the best results for loom and visibility you would think that looming the arabics they tried that and that's not the look they wanted so they went with this those are kind of tucked away in that chapter ring and it's like i said it's kind of deceiving because it does look like tritium tubes excellent bracelet you have <clears throat> screw pins four micro adjusts on the clasp fold over with a dive keeper there pretty standard affair and a nice smooth case back giving you some details about the watch No radiation. Quick release spring bars. If you pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, it's not sized. It's just a review model. But you can see there that it looks, wears, and feels great on wrist. You're going to want to, because it is a little hefty, you want to size it so it's not tight, but, you know, it fits and it won't dance around too much. So there's a look on that. This model they sent over does also have um, a nice vanilla scented rubber strap which is probably italian leather or uh, rubber excuse me and this nylon strap as well so i'm assuming these come with it it comes in a nice plastic uh, case if you watch the unboxing that's in there but this would look great on a strap i mean the bracelet's really good 
it would be really cool on, you know, some um, pass-through straps, like military-inspired or something. I think that would be a really cool look as well. Because it's thin enough, it's only 13.3, so you can put a thin, you know, as long as you're not doubling it up too much. I'm not really uh, hip on um, doing the traditional style where it has two layers, uh, but a single pass, yeah, this would work great on a single pass. I gotta do that bezel action one more time, guys. I absolutely love the look, the feel, the operation of it. His spinning this makes you realize how stout and how well built this watch is. That's the impression I get in hand that it is heavy duty and up for the task. Let's give it a quick blast with the UV light. Turn off the studio lights and we'll get to see how well this BG, BGW9 performs. It is spectacular. For such a small real estate in that chapter ring, which I once thought were tritium tubes, they're clearly not. It has to be the brightest small application of BGW9 I've ever handled. It is perfect. So well done on that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next vid.